We're going to go back to the scene now. David Muir is there with David Curley, who covers transportation for us. David? And Robin, as you know, we've now learned six dead from this, five here at the scene, one later at the hospital. And you and I were talking that many of these injuries are severe chest injuries. The next logical question is going to be how fast was that train going? The federal investigators here on the scene this morning. They're coming. Speed is one of the factors. And you and I were able to get around and actually see one of these mangled cars. And even though they are damaged severely, these investigators will learn a lot about what happened to this train. One train uh, looks like it's completely in pieces. The train derailed and broke apart on a corner with a reported speed limit of 55 miles an hour. The pictures tell the story. The engine and all seven cars jump the tracks. We have train cars that are completely overturned on their side, ripped apart, and the engine completely separated uh, from uh, the rest of the train. The engine and two cars landing upright, three on their side, one nearly on its roof. This electric locomotive is high tech, just a year old. It can reach up to 125 miles per hour. Investigators will look at that engine, the cars, the track. A report two years ago said rails for Amtrak trains are in desperate need of repair. Investigators will also be looking at the curve the train was negotiating. This is where the train was supposed to go, but this is where it ended up, the cars in pieces. They've been destroyed completely. The aluminum shell has been destroyed and they've been overturned completely. Despite all this destruction, crash investigators will find clues in the mess to tell us why Amtrak train 188 jumped the rails as it was leaving Philadelphia. And you know, you talk to the people who live here in Philadelphia and they can't believe this happened right here in their backyard, but they'll also remind you there was another train accident right here more than 70 years ago? More than 70 years ago, different circumstances. We think it was a problem with the car and it jumped and nearly 80 people were killed in that accident. Seems to be a coincidence that it happened in the same place. A lot more to learn from the investigators. NTSB on their way right now. All right, you'll be with me here for World News tonight. Uh, until then, we'll send it back to George. Okay, guys, thanks.